Good morning, folks. We've got some excellent science articles for you today, and we also have the departure of the sunspot group that has continued to flare. We'll start with our star and begin by mentioning that as interesting as it is, the sunspot within the coronal hole has been the most calm one on the sun. Lots of surface activity around it, but not much more in terms of CMEs. You can see that after the larger M-class flares reported yesterday, we had a couple more smaller ones, and in 131 angstroms, which focuses more on the flaring energy, all of those came from the departing group on the south. The high-energy protons accelerated by those previous eruptions did crest over the warning threshold briefly, but only at level 1, which is only a minor alert for satellites, and it's waning now. Coming back to the eruption in focus yesterday, it was the second of the larger M-class events, the longer duration flare, and while the coronagraph images are not showing the entire thing, I do hope you can see how there is a faint ejecta signal all around the central blocking disk, indicating its width and likely impact to Earth. NOAA's Enlil spiral, it's about as good as I've ever seen them make one. Both larger M-class flares, which produce CMEs, are on there, with the second one being the one wide enough to impact Earth, which could happen as early as tonight. Still, nothing to be afraid of. And so we're on to the articles. Up first, we've got an article that follows up previous ones about polar and oceanic destabilization preceding colder conditions. Indeed, Earth's safety mechanism is to inflict cold when the warming impacts the ocean heat transport via melted polar ice. Global warming scientists just pretend this doesn't exist and carry on. Up next, a good one on the LLSVPs, Earth's internal skeleton. They believe that they have the ability to move as the surface land moves, especially the African plume. This will be critical as an element of the major mantle heaving during the 12,000-year cycle event, which helps throw the oceans onto the continents, and which sunk Atlantis, Mew, and Lemuria in previous events. Lastly, folks, no more wondering if Earth's core is lopsided, which most observers didn't question anyway. But now we have more solid evidence that there is, quote, strong deformation at the core mantle boundary. Just one more reason that Earth is not symmetrical about the north-south axis, meaning that the Janabekov effect or tennis racket theorem does indeed apply to Earth and its potential tilt in that 12,000-year cycle event as well. As always, the video playlists, our books on these topics, and more can be found in the description box below the video. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.